sell a lot of videos. How does that stuff kind of benefit you guys? I mean, we play a sport where you have to right. be competitive, so like, uh, I mean, there's that aspect. But I think, I think, uh, I mean, th there's certain skills in football that are like physical, and then uh, the mental skills, toughness, uh, the competitive spirit. Like, what do you do when you're down and you need to fight your way back? Up? Like, there's certain things that can be practiced. Some people are born with more than others but a lot of that stuff can be practiced and developed and so I think one thing I really appreciate about the staff is they're very intentional about developing those skills um, you know they'll recruit guys who have a high baseline for it and then they'll develop guys even more and I really appreciate that about those guys. Who impressed you? Who impressed me? Who impressed me? Uh, in my room, obviously Chaney. Chaney's a dog. Um, one of the hardest working guys I know. Uh, but then also Garrison Soliday, G-Baby, as we call him, uh, G-Unit, if you will. Uh, he really impressed me. He, there was a couple uh, Friday finishers where it was like, all right, we're neck and neck, and G-Baby just came through and saved the day. So definitely G-Baby. Um, and then... I'll just talk about my unit and then the linebacker unit and then the defensive unit. Defensively, uh, Jason Matry definitely impressed me as well. Just love the way he carries himself and the way he works. Uh, yeah, those three guys for sure. Obviously, there's new coaches on the defensive staff, top to bottom. Just what's that transition been like? And you know, just what kind of vibe do you get from that? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the transition has been going smoothly. I think uh, there's always bumps in the road. I think in the beginning it was rocky. Like at the very beginning, uh, last year even. First hearing the news, I think it was rocky for a lot of guys. And uh, part of the development has just been realizing, okay, these coaches have a lot to offer us and we have a lot to offer them. And uh, this can be a symbiotic relationship. Like it doesn't, we don't need to, they're not here to take, they're here to give. I think once a lot of people realize that, I think we kind of got on the same page. And spring ball is just going to be another opportunity to send five or five messages. You so. talked about being rocket being. How is, how is the staff able to kind of smooth that over a little bit and make it a better transition? I mean, realistically, there's nothing that they can do other than, hey, we're, like, we're here. We want what's best for you guys. We want what's best for the program. If you're aligned with that, like, get on board. If you're not, I think that's that's because otherwise, what can you do? You know, a lot of a lot of getting on board is a personal decision. Uh, I think once guys realize, like, yeah, truly, they're here for the program, they're here for the good of the program. I think I think a lot of guys got on board. Or even you and Jordan Yeah, I mean, uh, responsibilities are. are changing but they're the same any linebacker has to stop the run first uh, stop the pass second um, understand your role and underneath coverage understand that you communicate you're the mouthpiece of the defense how do you communicate with other people on the team on the defense <clears throat> and then really developing how we're going to play off of each other that's going to be a question and answer in the spring ball do you have a difference in approach or mindset, you know, now that you have been a starter for a year and now that you and Jordan are running it back? Uh, honestly, my mindset is whatever I did last year wasn't enough. And, and so that's kind of been fueling me. Uh, just kind of doing the work we did in the off season, then coming out, we went six and six, and then personally just having some matchups where it was like, oh, wow. Just realizing, like, all right, there's more to be done, more to be done, more to be had. Um, left a lot of meat on the bone last year, so the approach has just been, I need more. It needs to be more efficient. Uh, more that, uh, you mentioned that you, you feel like you left a meat on the bone. Is that the sentiment in general with the whole team? Because, you know, Luke mentioned in a video this offseason that you guys were like one and four or something in the fourth quarter. Is that something that kind of, because he, he 
kind of eat it, eats at you guys in, over the off season? Shit, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, probably you go know, six and six and it doesn't eat at you, then you're probably in the wrong business. So. How, mu how much was, did he kind of remind you that stat though about the fourth quarter? The I mean, dude, Coach Fick. Coach Fick said it like a couple times, but like. <laughs> You don't need to say it more than once. Like it's once you hear that sideline like that, that's enough. That say it once and it has its own weight. Um, I mean, I know it eats at me. There's some games from last year that eat at me. Some situations, um, but they feel you as well. You know, they don't just eat at you. They feel you. So <clears throat> I think a lot of guys feel that chip on their shoulder. Uh, ate a lot of shit sandwiches last year. So. It's time to, time to get that payback. But there was an eye opening. Where do you think you can get better as a player? What do you need to get better at? More consistency. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely more consistency, consistency overall in my game. Uh, and, then, and then playing more freely, I think. Last year I was so worried about not making mistakes and I kind of got robotic. And there's an element of sport that's art and you know, that creativity needs to showcase itself, like, basically. So just letting myself do my thing, like, I think that's a big place where I can step up and then do it technically. So. There was an eye-opening number of transfers that came in here in the off season and, you know, types of guys that this program doesn't normally get, but how, how do you feel like the coaching staff did just in terms of making sure there fits in the locker room and, and like-minded guys that are already here? Can you ask a question? Um, just with the number of transfers, um, how do you feel like the coaching staff did just to make making sure those guys were fits for the locker room and, and making sure they're like-minded guys with what you already have here? Yeah, I mean, one thing I like about Wisconsin is we're, uh, we pride ourselves on being a player-led team. So I think the coaches did their best to recruit guys who believe in what we believe in, that you know, it's more than just football here. Like We believe in family and, and everything that comes with that. And then it was our job as players to welcome those guys in and show them away. So I think the coaches did great recruiting. and uh, It has been our job and will continue to be our job as players to continue to welcome them and show them away. You say you're player-driven or player-led. You lost your three captains from last year. Who are some of the guys that have stepped up into those roles that, that need to be leaders? Maybe even obviously yourself. Yeah, I mean, that's something that that's going to be answered in spring ball even more than ever. But uh, there, there have been a couple guys who have stepped up, and uh, I've been I've been excited to watch them lead and be more vocal, but then also back it up with how they're carrying themselves on and off the field. No names. No names right now. Yeah. <laughs>